sleep is for wimps. predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them. Quatrain 77, Century 9. Redemption is offered by a woman of Scarlet, the twice-blessed to seek out. Enter the belly of the beast and become one. A convicted killer walking into a cop station does sound crazy. If I'm recognized, it'll be like feeding time at the zoo. Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for Sergeant Janowski. Sorry, officer. I'm new here. But I think he's in operations one floor up. Find anything on Red? There's a secretary in operations with red hair. Hasn't been seen in a couple of days. I always loved a man in uniform. I always hated them myself. If this mysterious Red really discovered proof of my innocence, I have to find it. I've got a couple of things going for me. One, Eddie and I killed my clone. So the cops think I'm dead. Two, my new ally, Jordan. With her watching my back, at least I have one friend here in the belly of the beast. If all goes well, I'll be out of here in under an hour. something. I'm looking for a Sergeant Janowski. I'm Janowski. Who are you? I I'm uh, Officer Jeffrey Thompson. I figured I'd follow this for you. Save you some time. Been transferred over from 18. Yeah, well, this is the first I heard about any transfer. You park your butt, Thompson. I'll be back. Oh, 
Brock, do you know anything about the 18th dumping some guy on us named Thompson? Let's see what Person Allen has to say about him. Ready for him, bro. Burn, baby, burn. Damn, should have said psychiatric review. No wonder they want him on a desk. Come on, Brock. I need another paper pusher like I need more hemorrhoids. Eh? Okay. So dump him on Gavin. Okay. Homicide division. Your new home. You're putting me in homicide. That's what it says on the door. What's the matter, Thompson? You killed somebody? These guys broke some of the biggest murders in Chicago. I'll introduce you. Sorry. Well, maybe some other time. Hey, Sarge. My old partner had a friend here. I think the name was Red. Red. Well, the only one I know besides the new tent there was Emma McAstry. She had the desk right next to me up in operations. She used to like to take cops down to the evidence room. Must have been with half the squad the last couple of weeks. The guy at the evidence desk used to let that happen? I had a deal worked out. Twenty bucks kept the door closed, the cameras off. Can't wait to meet this in. Well, you're a little late. She's gone? Fired, most likely. You see, she used to like to dig her fingernails in, left marks. Some of the guys got in trouble with their wives. <laughs> Gavin will tell you all about it. Who's Gavin? Gavin is the kind of cop that takes the fun out of being a cop. You know about being a cop, Janowski. Detective Gavin Thompson. Just transferred in from 18. He's all yours. Welcome. Well, since you're here, maybe you could type those up for me. And use that desk over there. We met before? Thompson from 18? I don't think so. I remember. Yeah, so would I. Sure look familiar though. I was on real cops once, maybe that's it. Nah. Nah. It'll come to me though.
Bud Thompson. Uh, not much. Some kind of screw up. I want to see his transfer papers. It won't make any difference, Gavin. If Brock says he's yours, he's yours. Just get me the papers. Eddie, I need you to check your name for me. Emma McCastry. You think that's our redhead? Looks like it. You find anything out about that dead message on your email? Well, I checked the police logs. Homicides. Suicides. Foster, nothing ties into that station. The quatrain says... Redemption offered by a woman of scorn. Whatever Red found, Eddie, it's somewhere in here. Well, you better find it fast. Those personnel records I planted aren't going to fool them forever. How long? Basically. First time someone runs a series check. Right. Secretary was sent me down here to pack up her things. News to me she was laid off, Miss Fairfax. But any packing should be done by police. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I was just trying to help. Sorry. Have a nice day. Foster, Guar experiments. How about suicide? It's starting to look like. I don't have time for this. Where'd you find it? Emma's desk. The drawers were clean, her hard drive has been erased, but I got this off of her desk. It's faint, but there's some kind of marks, like scratches. These guys must hire from a dyslexic work pool. Half of these files are misplaced. There's something else here. I just called the 18th. Nobody's ever heard of Thompson. Damn. You think he might be an internal affairs plant? Well, since we know he's not from the 18th, let's find out who he really is. M.A.B. Mavis. I don't get it. What does this have to do with the leader of the alien invasion? Emma said she found your case files. If Mavis is involved, this ain't just about my files anymore. It also means that there are aliens here. And I was worried about cops. Thompson. A little early for you to be researching a case, isn't it? What are you bucking for a promotion? <laughs> uh, ladies new here, detective. Figured I'd help her out. Uh, since you're so helpful, why don't you run that down a homicide for me? My second thought, I'll do it. Get you later. He just fingerprinted me. That's it, we're out of here. It'll take them a while to run the prints. We still got time to check out the evidence room. Evidence room? That's what they're gonna make you. Then we better get moving. I'm 
starting to admire the Sandman. She risked her life to get those files to you. She wouldn't be the first believer who risked her life. She might be the first nymphomaniac. Why would a woman with that kind of determination do quickies in back rooms? She needed an excuse to get in there. She was looking for something. You said she scratched all the men. Enough to leave marks. The scratch test. She was seeing if they'd heal, checking for aliens. Maybe she found one. Just wait over here. Help you? Yeah, name's Thompson. Just transferred in. Thought I'd get acquainted. Will it? to be. Janowski told me it was 20. She's a friend of Emma's. Told me we could come down here and get a little time to ourselves. Well, what else did she tell you? About the surveillance camera. <laughs> Some people like that. <laughs> That Anna didn't like anyone to watch, did she? No. She didn't. You can still be listening. What do you want me to do? Just make it sound convincing. Oh, baby. Baby, it's true what they say about cops. You, you better believe it. can you get off yeah. well run it through personnel dmv the feds let me know the minute you got something okay thanks bye Dead files. Oh. Oh. Yes. 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 That's it, baby, right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. for a uniform named Thompson just transferred in. 
Young guy, goatee, lots of attitude. Doesn't ring a bell, detective. There's nobody in there, then? No. You don't mind if I take a look, then? Suit yourself. Get dressed so fast. Practice. I used to work in vice. Well, Gavin's pissed. What's he got against you anyway, Thompson? Maybe he's just not getting enough. Who does? Come back any time. Hey, baby. Any faster than I get a ticket? Let's get the hell out of here. I faxed this picture over to the 18th. Nobody's ever seen him before. So who the hell is this guy, Internal Affairs? Well, my gut says it's something else. You done anything yet? Not so far. Yeah, he's out there. We can't let him see us together. Take everything we've got and I'll meet you back at the trailer. Foster, I'm not leaving you. They catch me, at least you've got a hand as autopsy report. Now go. Hey, you. Excuse me. That, uh, cop was helping you in the file room. He say anything to you? Well, now that you mention it, he talked kind of sexy. What? You know, dirty talk. Is that what you mean, Detective? <laughs> Look, whatever your name is, you see him again, you can tell me about it. You got that? Sure. Detective Gavin. Well, Gavin is looking for you. I know. Damn homicide detectives got me run off my feet. I'll be back in ten. Severity of the damage to the victim's neck. The complete crushing of the trachea. Foster, I'm sorry. And the crushing of the vertebrae were caused by a force greater than any hand could inflict. I have no theory to account for the degree of bodily injury to the deceased. Anna Foster. That's not what they read at my trial. You're damn right it's not. They're gonna have to reopen your case, man. The truth will set you free. Not with this. What the hell are you talking about? The photocopies, Eddie. No time stamps, no signatures. They'll never stand up in court. He's right. They'll say Foster faked the report. This is of no good to us. Or the Gua. You're right. So why keep this evidence around at all? The Gua framed me for Hannah's murder. Why not destroy the report? Because they don't know where it is. Someone got a hold of that report before the Gua could destroy it. Who? Cop? Sympathizer? Emma mentioned there was more evidence. She was killed before she could tell you about it, which means whatever she found is damn important to the Gua. And us. Wait, wait, wait. You're not thinking about going back in there. I don't think I have a choice, Eddie. But getting out of there the first time was just blind luck. 
You don't even know where to look. They got surveillance cameras all over the place, man. Cameras. They were recorded Emma the night she called Eddie. The tapes will show us where she found the files. We already know what she looks like. That's great. That's just peachy. Suddenly you're both wizards at surveillance gear. No. But you are. I mean, I was afraid of that. They're gonna get your prints off that file, Foster. No, I think I still have time. As far as they're concerned, Kate Foster is dead and buried. Yes. Yes, I know. I know what the report says, Judge, but I just got a 12-point match on Kate Foster. That's what I said. He's alive. Foster is a cop. You're supposed to be ready. It's a police station. I do. Just act normal. Hey, how about those cubs, huh? And one's a bad. Hey, now, wait a second. You say you haven't seen Thompson either. Where the hell did this guy go? Nobody's seen him. Foster, it's a rock. Now, I have looked all over this station from top to bottom. Wall to wall, there's no sign. Foster. Look, he's got to be down here somewhere. He never came back to his desk. The son of a bitch is dodging us. Don't worry, we'll get up. Thank God. What do you think, Eddie? Standard building security setups. We got everything covered. Entranceways, hallways, continuous loop tapes, motion activated jobs. Before the surveillance technician comes back. I'll try. Not before lunch today. That body's been in the ground for weeks. No, no, no. There's nobody in here. It's an empty coffin. Now open it. <laughs> Sorry. That's a coroner's job. Get the corner. Get the corner down here. You shouldn't look this good, Foster. Got it. I reconstructed what is probably the last few minutes of Emma's life. Here she is going down the hallway toward the file room. She's fixing her shoe. No, it looks like that. I've been doing some editing. See that cut? It's actually two minutes apart. She's dodging the surveillance cameras. Long enough to stash the files. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. See, look at this. See, somewhere during that time, she got rid of this entire stack of papers. See? She couldn't have gone far. Has to be the file run. Well, so there's got to be 500 drawers in there. We can't go through them all. Eddie, play it back again. There. Her foot. Zoom in. Her 
a key. She emailed me at 2 a.m. It's a few minutes after this. She had time to make it back to her desk in operations. Maybe the key's still there. Not a chance, Foster. I checked. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I went for everything in that damn desk. Except the gum. Gum? Yeah, it was stuck up under her desk. Wait a second, we're gonna go back and risk our ass for a piece of gum? The body was fully autopsied, right? So how come the wounds are scarred? Dead bodies don't form scar tissue. No, they don't. He's been in the ground six weeks. You gotta be a pile of maggots by now. Hmm. I'll tell you this, detective. Plane beats the hell out of me. This won't be much fun. We'll reopen the chest cavity. Out in the alley in 15 minutes. Since you got roughly the same chance of making it as a sloth in a forest fire, let me just say it's been a pleasure knowing you. Just keep the engine running, Eddie. I'll be okay. Actually, I was talking about Jordan. I told you to leave that desk alone. I know, but Secretarial said you'd need a replacement for Emma. Really? Who's your superior in Secretarial? Miss Olansky. Well, when we need a replacement, I'll be sure to let you know. Fairfax. <clears throat> Oops. I've been trying to give that up. She was trying to tell us where she stashed the files. The other cabinet's room is filed. She had to empty the drawer out to fit all these in here. It's all in here. My frame up, other experiments, list of human sympathizers. Aliens posing as humans? My God, Foster, there's hundreds of them. Military personnel, CIA agents. It's a blueprint for the Guam invasion of the Midwest. Foster, we did it. All we gotta do is get it out. That's it. Take a look. Shouldn't that be worse? A hell of a lot worse. Hmm. 
decomposition should be well advanced. But this damn thing's as fresh as a daisy. I got a 12 point match off those prints from Thompson. A match on Kate Foster. Are you trying to tell me that Thompson is Kate Foster? Look at him. A coincidence. So Thompson just looks like Foster. No, no, not alike. Identical. Prints don't lie, Brock. I knew I'd seen that bastard before. Foster's dead, damn it. His body's lying right there. Then there are two kid Fosters. That's impossible. Yeah? You want to know what else is impossible? Except for that bullet wound there, there's no sign of wear and tear on any organ. It's like the body was never used. What the hell are you trying to tell me? I don't know. I took a look at Foster's jacket, whole trial transcript. He, he claimed something about these weird experiments. Because he was a psychopath, damn it. Look, I'm not gonna sit on this, Brock. Now, either you do something about it or so help me, I'll go over your head. Okay. Okay. You have the coroner store the remains under strict security. I'll keep Thompson under surveillance until you get back. Totally insane. <laughs> Forget the front door. In the basement, there's gotta be a fire exit. He was here this morning, him and that secretary. Doing what? Well, I didn't ask. Now listen, you little cave creep. That son of a bitch is a convicted felon. I seen him go up the fire stairs earlier. Emma. 
Why would you want to help me? Because you're Cade Foster. Emma told me all about you. You forgot something. What's that? Your leg. Walk. Come on, Foster. Even if you do get past me, your own people get you. Either way, I get the files. If they went up the fire stairs, they would have set the alarm off. Will it's lying. But why in the hell would he do that? Where is he? We think he's down in the basement somewhere. Come on, let's go. As far as we knew, Foster was dead. The heat was off. Why would he risk everything showing up here? I told you, he's a psycho. Files well, are pretty important. Be careless of you to lose him like that. It wasn't me. A guard defector? A traitor. You ran your experiment, 117. After you'd escaped and it was clear he failed, he took the files as insurance. I'm guessing it didn't save him. We do have a low tolerance for failure. He had no idea where to look. Not until Emma contacted your website. Looks like a two-way street. No matter. We kill each other, the files stay behind. Willie! Open the door, Willie! I think we just ran out of options. Are you afraid? I'm working on it. Why? They just might get us out of here. Grab the files. Open up, will it? Don't shoot. We're coming out. Open it. I got nothing to lose. Now you back off or she dies. Listen to him. He'll do it. Do it. Pull back. Pull back. You go for those files, Foster. I'll drop you right where you stand, I swear. Just let him go. I don't want to die! Back off. Do it. Do what he says. Back off. I read your case files, Foster. And I dug up that body. It was you. So you're gonna tell me right now what the hell's going on? That's a very good question. You keep asking yourself that. Back off! Back it up. What's in the files, Foster? The answers. See you again. 
You follow me, she dies. Remember what I said. I have nothing to lose. No, 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 no. It'll kill her. Let's get an ATV out on Foster. Dave Foster, let's go. I lost the proof of my innocence and the alien plans for the invasion. Now the cops know I'm alive. But even though I failed, it was worth the risk. The war I know they haven't stopped me. Every chance I get, I'm going to try and take them down. And then we'll see who ends up on the run. As soon as it gets dark, we're rolling. Their phrase, oh, blue eyes, I don't think Chicago's going to be our kind of town for a while. It's a good thing, too, man. The uniform started to give me the creeps. You're not the only one. Ugh. I kind of liked it. Man. All that risk for the zip. Not a snake eye. Maybe not. We lost the files that might have helped us stop Mavis, and the cops still think you're a killer. Not all of them. You think Gavin's going to be on your side? Well, he found the husk. He gets his hands on some of those files. We just might have made a believer out of him. He's one lone guy, Foster. Emma was alone. Look what she did. Sacrificed to help us. Sometimes all it takes is one. The Bureau is taking over the investigation. They want this kept quiet until they can assess everything we've got here. You should be picking up those remains in about an hour. And we'll get a report when the government examines this body, whatever the hell it is. I want to see those files. I wish I could help you, Gavin. But the feds have already taken them. Well, it doesn't matter. One way or another. I'm going to get Kate Foster. I sincerely hope you do. Is there anything else? The house gets destroyed this afternoon, right? Make sure Gavin never sees those files. As long as he thinks Foster is guilty, you could lead us to him.